feel so bad. This is a cool old song. It comes from way back um, in the early 50s, I believe. Um, and the original version was very different. Um, I'm doing a more funked up version, my own version, if you will. I'm Red, and I'm here today to help you take a look at Feel So Bad, but even more so, I'm, I'm here to show you some cool funk moves that you can use generically across the board on so many different songs. Um, what I'm going to be demonstrating is both rhythm and lead moves, but I'm going to be focused more on the rhythm stuff for this one. Um, I'm going to play the track, I'm going to play a little bit of rhythm, I'll play the track, I'll play some lead, and then I'll explain a little bit about what I'm doing here. And again, these moves can be used for so many different songs. You just start looking for places to apply them and uh, you will find, you know, a lot of useful stuff here. So, I'm going to go ahead and roll the track and get started. Rhythm first, then lead. Now I'm using tritone on the third and fourth string. And I'm using a Wawa pedal. Four. Broken chords. a little bit about what I was doing there. I'm playing tritones, the third and fourth string. And you can see where my fingers are. This is the root, the one. Okay? For the four, I go down a half step. Back to the one. And then up a half step for the five. Okay, so these tritones are built or derived from chords. There's your one, so therefore it's an A. And you can see it exists right in the key of A, or right in the chord. The tritones are there. Now you can also note for the four, if you look at, this is a D, so if you look at a D7 using a C7 shape, okay, and then add the fifth fret, first string, and remove the fifth fret, or fifth string, you get this. So there's your tritone. A full seventh chord and you can break that chord down into two note um, parts if you will same thing with the five chord just up two frets Now you could, now you could also use just regular chords. In this case, I'm going to use a A7. I'm going to do that little um, five or four back to the one minor to major hammer. There's your four chord. See what I did? I Played basically an A minor, then hammered that third to make it a major. And you can do that on all four chords, or rather all three chords. You could also use, um, you know, just so many different chords. But um, this move is a very cool one for it.
see what I'm doing there, a D7 shape. And of course you have to be careful with your right hand to make sure you target the right notes, the right strings. And you also want to get that funky thing going on. I'm doing right hand and left hand mutings. So, um, you know, think about your muting. Think about the chords that you're playing. And look for those two adjacent string pairs, if you will, from the chords. And just break the chords down. Like if you had an A chord, you could say... So you see how I just took two, straight, two adjacent strings, broke the chord down, and used it, um, or used those little pieces to create a, a bigger, a bigger thing, I guess you know. And that that really is a great approach to funk. Okay, now as far as the lead goes, I'm going to play minor pentatonic. I'm going to play major pentatonic. I'm going to use chord tones passing tones, and perhaps some arpeggios here and there. But moreover, rather than thinking the scales, they're just going to kind of happen. It's more about the interval from one note to the next note. I feel the interval in my mind, and I know how far it is on my fretboard. And that's how I create the melody or the, the, the solo in my mind. So I'm going to roll the track. I'm just going to play a little bit, and um, then I'll, I'll talk a little bit about that too. But like I say, the main thing in this lesson was the rhythm moves. And here we go. So, you know, I played um, minor pentatonic, but I bent. Instead of fretting the note there, I bent to it. You see, I just created a melody in my mind. I use this to connect me to the major pentatonic, the BB box. Now I'm in the BB box, and now I'm going to walk myself from the BB box back into the minor pentatonic. See? I landed back in the minor pentatonic. Now the other thing that I'm, I'm going to stress on this is feel the chord changes and follow those changes. Um, at the end, when it went to the five and the four, I went, you know. For the five. See, I'm following the change and resolving back to the one. So... Well, I hope this helps you not only to gain an understanding of perhaps um, feel so bad, but even moreover, I hope that this helps you to, um, to spice up your funk all across the board. Okay, that's it for today, and I will see you again soon with another lesson.